this week's video. If you haven't met me before, my name is Marissa Roberts and I'm from beautifullyorganized.com and it's my mission in life to really simplify everything. Uh, work, family life, my home life, the running of my household. I'm a big believer in slowing down and enjoying the simpler moments of every day. So this week's video is a laundry tour. We've done a refresh and a reorganization of our laundry room over the past week or two and I wanted to share with you guys how we organize our laundry so that it's easy to do the washing every day. Um, we also keep our cleaning supplies and tools in our laundry space and it's not a very big one so we've had to be quite clever with how we structure it, organize it and where we've put things so that they're easy to grab, easy to put away and easy to keep uh, clean and tidy. I'd love to see how you organize your laundry room so come on over to Facebook to our free Facebook group at Living a Simple Life and show me the pictures of your laundry space. And if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and tap the bell for notifications if you'd like to see more videos from me. So this is our little laundry space. It's right up against the back of our house. So the laundry is right next to our back door. Not a very big space, but we've organized it pretty efficiently. This is a little spare toilet, so you don't need to see in there. <laughs> so we have a hand towel on the side of the storage cupboard here in case people want to wash their hands at our laundry sink. And then this cupboard here is where the main storage for our cleaning products and our ironing products is. So the cupboard is, it's a pretty old, old house, so the cupboard is a little bit makeshift, but it's quite charming. And we keep our car vacuum up the top here, and then our iron. We don't do a lot of ironing in bulk anymore, just, you know, before we wear the piece of clothing, we iron them one at a time. And then in this little house box here, that's where we keep all the bits and pieces, like lint rollers um, and command hooks, bags for the dogs when we take them walking. And yeah, just little bits and pieces like that that don't really have a special home of their own. I just find it's really handy to have them in one spot. And then underneath there we have our ironing board. It's a big Philips Easy 8 one. It has the wings on it to make ironing business shirts easier. And then in that cupboard as well, that's where I keep our dustpan and brush set from Kmart. That's a bamboo one. And then our bamboo broom as well. That's just for inside sweeping. A little to the right of that cupboard we have a little wall next to a window here and our dryer is up high on that wall. I really wanted to make the most of the space we had available in the laundry. And then underneath the dryer is a little shelf with a container for laundry powder and a cute little plant next to that. And then on that shelf we also keep our hand wash. It's handy to have it there with a little scoop so that I don't have to bend down to underneath the laundry sink to get the laundry powder. And then on our sink is a little scrubbing brush and just a little regular bar of soap so that we can scrub out any stains before we put our laundry into the washing machine. It's a pretty simple setup but it has everything we need and then the taps for the washing machine are connected to here uh, which is just in front of our regular taps to use the sink if you want to wash your hands or do any soaking or scrubbing. Over here is our washing machine. When our last one died, we went and bought this one second hand and we got the same type of washing machine, the same size so that I knew how to use it. Um, and then all the, the biggest difference is it just doesn't have an electric auto lock on it, which is so much handier because that's why our old washing machine <laughs> pretty much died. And then next to that we keep our shoe storage just in a regular stand with some white baskets inside so that it's easy to pull out and grab our shoes when we need them or the kids can just take their shoes out of the top baskets. But for the adult shoes we just pull these baskets out like little drawers. So it's easy to use and it's easy to keep tidy. Even the children can do it. So I really love that. This I found really, really handy. We have a white basket attached to our wall here and this is where I keep our foldable laundry basket. Why a foldable laundry basket? <laughs> I just find that the really big bulky plastic ones, they get in the way because we don't have a lot of space. This one is very thin and very light 
sits nicely in this basket and it's not very heavy so we can just attach the basket to the wall with these sticky command hooks and then the foldable basket just sits into the white basket when I'm ready for whenever we need it. This is really handy, I needed a place to keep our spray mop so we got one of the sticky hooks again, this one's specifically for broom handles and we just popped that up on the wall. It's strong enough to hold our whole spray mop and then I just grab it and go when I need it. And I have a second mop head so that when this one is used and it's dirty and needs a wash, I just put it in the washing machine and I put my spare one on that's dry before I hang it up again. Let's take a look inside the cupboard under our laundry sink. We have the extendable adjustable shelving here. I think ours is from Howard Storage World, but you can get it at Kmart as well. You can fit it around your pipes underneath your sink, so that's handy. And we keep our carpet cleaners, our waterproofing spray, our upholstery cleaner on the top shelf. And then on the bottom shelf, we have any leftover laundry powder that won't fit in the container on the above shelf, plus the spot stain removal bottles for our carpet stain removers. And then on the right hand side, I have a tray that holds our scrubbing brush that I scrub the floors with and also a pair of rubber gloves just for when I have any particularly icky or sticky stains that I'm scrubbing before we put our laundry in the washing machine. I just have a little tray under there to catch any drips in case anybody replaces those while they're still a little bit wet, <laughs> which does happen occasionally. That's my laundry tour. I hope you found it um, interesting and I hope it's given you some ideas if you were looking for ways to organize your own laundry. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or helpful and let me know in the comments what type of video you'd like to see from me in the future. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.